For Penn Environment's 2010 Environmental Lobby Day, we joined with Trout Unlimited, the Keystone Trail Association, and conservation voters of Pennsylvania to bring over 50 citizens from all across the Commonwealth to Harrisburg. They came from the Scranton area and Poconos down to Philadelphia and out to Pittsburgh to meet with their legislators and discuss critical environmental legislation moving through the state capitol. We're here today because of the Marsalis Shale and how it's moving forward. Well, I became uh, concerned about streams and water because I fish, and I've loved fishing all my life. I know the water resources are all interconnected. I'm healthy. I want to have a long life. I don't want to get cancer. I don't want my son to get cancer, but I care about it for the entire state. The drilling is an issue that uh, impacts more than those areas of the state that are actually involved in drilling. Pipelines uh, are crossing our county, which is Chester County, and have an impact. But more importantly, uh, we're as concerned as those people who live in those communities that are impacted by gas drilling because we want to protect all the waters in Pennsylvania. Tonkanic is only 30 minutes from my house and uh, the impact of the extra roads and the pipeline that they're starting to build, it's, it's scarring the land that I used to you know, really take pride in. Decision makers who value Penn Environment's input briefed our members on the issues before Lobby Day began. So what your voices are going to do is to help us to protect our forests from further gas drilling. We need to quit using the state forest as a cash cow to fund the budgetary needs of the Commonwealth. But we are in a battle here. We're in a battle for the future of the state. We're in a battle for the inheritance that we are going to pass on to our children and our grandchildren. And we better win. Our meetings went very well. And I was really glad we were able to bring these citizens in and, and, and make this final push uh, before the votes in the next week or two. Yeah, I got to know my representative, and he actually opened up, became quite candid, and just explaining who he was, where he's coming from, also speaking to us, finding out where we're coming from, and just kind of balancing the arguments. The senator was really positive. He is, sounds like he's in full support of improving our environmental regulations. It's been really exciting to um, hear the staff and representatives speak. They've been very positive and welcoming, and I've really appreciated all of their time that they've put into today. For me, it was important to act, and I hope that my actions will make a difference, but it felt good to do something. Penn Environment has done great work. I've been in Harrisburg uh, in various capacities in the, in the public and uh, not-for-profit sectors uh, really for the last seven years, and Penn Environment is one of the most influential environmental organizations. Uh, they have advocated for good public policy. They've done great grassroots work, uh, great public outreach work, and helping to organize lobby days like today is, is a, a critically needed function that the Penn Environment does very well.